We're in Fort William for the Wembo World 24 Hour Solo Championships. It's a beautiful day, a fabulous setting, and I think I'm ready. I've been this nervous before, I don't think, so. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen to me. I've got myself psyched up for about the last three weeks to really, really bury myself, and now I don't really want it. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. It's one of the hardest things you can do, obviously. It's self-explanatory, it's a 24-hour mountain bike race. It's not going to be easy. We ride approximately a 10-mile course for the whole 24 hours, without stopping, hopefully. I think a more gung-ho approach, and it's quite successful for me, is to go off like a lunatic, as though it wasn't a 24-hour race, um, and then set on to a steady pace through the night, and then just hang on in the morning, just see where you are. Such a big challenge, it takes so much commitment and determination to even prepare yourself to be in a position where you can even finish one of these things. Well, the sun's going now, we were, just, we were just talking about this and he's feeling strong at the moment, but now he's got 12 hours of darkness. And that initially is going to be quite exciting, but two or three hours in, three or four laps in, it's going to be the dead of night, his spirits are going to sink, but he's going to carry on. He, he just has this internal switch that won't let him stop. I love riding in the dark. I do all my training in the dark anyway. I've got full-time job and kids, so you know I'm I'm yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable in the dark. This is awesome during the night. Once he gets past 12 hours, he keeps tapping out the laps, gets stronger, and then it's dry and it's not too cold, so it's not a bad night to be riding around the forest. Black moments tend to come at about six hours and two in the morning. But then everybody's in the same boat, and you've got to remind, that's what experience, you know everybody is. You see the top people suffering in the same way. So you've got to learn to go through that. You plan to stop for as little time as possible. Um, ideally, you wouldn't stop at all. I always try and limit my stops to 15, 20 minutes for the entire race, if I can. It's teamwork. You can't do it without a good pit crew. It was essential. You, I, think, I think to do a race like that, you've got to have that. So I'm, I'm really grateful for it. It was amazing, yeah. He's in second position at the moment. It's cold, he's tired, he's 13 hours in. He's never raced for more than seven hours before, so it's a totally new area for him. And uh, we'll just have to see what we can do to help him. It's, uh, it's interesting with the, the actual race because it quietens down. 10 hours still to go, just plugging away. It's, uh, it's a tough, tough course. It's, uh, all the climbing is just wearing, it just wears you out. Five in the morning, just praying for the sun to come up, but it seems to take forever. When the sun comes up in the morning, it's like bathing you with glory, it's fantastic. So you've got to get yourself through to that moment. If you get through to the dorm, you could still have a race on, you could be racing your socks off to get a podium position, and that's when the real buzz kicks in. At seven o'clock this morning, he climbed the whole height of Everest, and now, He's exhausted. You're physically spent, you're mentally, you've had enough, um, and it takes weeks to recover. I was in second for a lot of the race, and I was feeling really good, and then my knee just started. I couldn't move my knee properly, and I couldn't really pedal, so then I just wanted it to be over. Yeah, I sort of struggled on, just getting slower and slower, really, unfortunately. I dreamt about this for the last 15 years, and it was far exceeding my expectations. You had to be a good bike handler, super fit, I've just done 240 miles and I've come six. And only that probably put you on the podium that or, or win it. But because of the amount of talent and speed and power in, in the starting lineup of this race, it's, I've ended up in six. 
So, um, yeah, probably the hardest one I've done. And I have announced my retirement for the, uh, probably the 15th time. So, but we'll see. This one might stick. I don't know.